Hello, good morning, I'm Mrs. Engelbrecht and welcome to Chappie TV. Hey everybody, we're shaking things up today with Chappie. So today we are doing a challenge. We're going to be having a whole bunch of whipped cream on Chappie's head and we are going to stand 1.5 meters away because we are socially distancing ourselves appropriately mm -hmm. and we are going to peg bananas at Chappie's head and see how many we can get to stick on. So here we go. Oh, that's there we go. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Camp one by one. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I might just hold this right there. Yeah, that's a good idea, Chappie. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Mm. The cream. Delicious. I think that's pretty good. Yeah. It'll be good enough. All right, so about 1.5 meters away. Let's grab him. Oh, you want you me to start? Yeah, go on. Okay, here we go. Okay, you've got a minute and Ugh. counting. All, All right. right. Oof. <laughs> Trying to hit you in the eye, Chappie. Those things are probably like missiles. <laughs> go. No. Oh. Sorry, Chappie. No, Chappie. The head, not the head. <laughs> Some for later. Oh no! If I keep my mouth open, I might get a banana wallet. Oh, oh I know. I haven't got a single one stick yet. Oh gosh. Well, I can't do any advice, that's for sure. Nope. No. Too bouncy. Yeah. Right, let's count it down. Ten. Nine. nine eight. eight, eight oh, seven. Six. six oh, five. Five. Four. Four. Three. Oops. Two. One. One. Oh, <laughs> that was cool. uh, bad luck, Gracie. I know. All right. That's atrocious. All right, I'm going to take it away. Wait a sec, I think you need to, um, Look at this. you need. Fantastic, Mr. G. <laughs> you need a whipped cream refill. Yeah. Nothing like a banana sundae. On a, on a Wednesday. Mm. Banana sundae on a Wednesday. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, go for it. Go for it. Alright, Andrew. One minute. Bye. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh. 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 <laughs> Is that on your nose, Jeff? Oh, got one. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Oh, uh, yes, I feel like it might be on my nose right at the minute. Oh, oh yep, yeah, it is. It's like up my nostril. Oh, I'm oh. Today. <laughs> I could blow with cream bubbles. <laughs> Do you need some help? I'm just right. throwing it everywhere but on your head. Mm. <laughs> There's one. Oh. Mm. Delicious. Oh, is that two? No. Oh, unfortunately not. Oh. Oh, man. I'm All right. Open. Count him down. Oh, Ten, Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. one. Bravo, congratulations. We have a winner here and score one. You're not allowed to shake hands. Oh! <laughs> Elbows. Elbows. <laughs> well, what a beautiful day for fishing. So I just mm. thought, isn't it, Nick? It is. It's a great day for fishing. So I just thought, let's take the boat out. Gary's here. Nick's here. We'll see what we can catch. Here we go. I'm not getting a whole lot of bites, I have to tell you. I'm not sure why. I've got the best equipment here. Not sure what's going on with it. But anyway, how are you going, Nick? Yeah, yeah, I've already caught one. Oh, Nick's already oh. caught one. He's a champion. Well, you know, I might just persevere for a little bit longer, but um, it's not looking good for me. I tell you what, I didn't catch any fish, but when I cast off, I am creating a few ripples into the water, you know? Nick got the fish, I got the ripples. But anyway, fishing's not always about catching the fish, is it? It's just about being out in the boat, enjoying the moment. Gary. <laughs> so, hello. Here we are with Gary this morning. 
Gary's been featuring in all of our Chappie TV. He doesn't get out of my room too often, so he's super excited about being involved in this. So thanks for being here again today, Gary. We are talking about kindness this week. So in Ephesians 4.32, it says, Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. We often hear, it's not hard to be kind to people, just do it. I'd like to suggest that sometimes it's really hard to be kind to people. You know, I've just been fishing as you've seen, didn't catch any fish, but we made some ripples in the water. Interesting thing about ripples, they ripple outwards. And so I'd like to suggest that when we're kind to people, it requires us to have outward thinking. It requires us to not just think about ourselves, but to be thinking outwards towards others, to be not so self-absorbed about our own needs that we actually don't notice what other people might need. For some people, it might come naturally to think outwards, to think about others. But for some of us, it's more difficult. This is something that I have to be really deliberate about personally. I just get distracted by things around me and I just don't notice sometimes what other people need. And so for me, sometimes it, it might be as simple as I go to visit a classroom, um, the class has gone to PE with Mr. Howard, um, I am standing there checking in with the teacher, how's everything going? And the teacher's preparing some booklets for their class. Now I could just stand there and keep chatting or I could be thoughtful about the needs of that teacher and say, oh, how can I help? Could I help you while, we, while we're chatting about how the class is going? And for me, that's outward thinking. That's thinking about what that teacher might need in that moment and how I can help and be involved in that. But it requires that I look around and I'm thoughtful. In Philippians 2.4, it says, don't look out only for your own interests, but take an interest in others too. We often talk about unkindness as being mean and being deliberate. We're deliberately unkind to someone. Sometimes being unkind is just the absence of thoughtfulness. It's the absence of looking to other people's interests over our own. One of the meanings of consideration is showing, or of being thoughtful, is showing consideration for the needs of other people. And you know, deliberate or not, we can still cause harm when we are unkind and not thoughtful, just like bananas. People can be okay on the outside, but our treatment of them can cause harm on the inside. We as humans are selfish by nature. It's easier to stay in our comfort zone, to think about what we need over what somebody else needs. It's easier not to have to sacrifice or put yourself out. You know, just being lazy, it's easier. Sometimes we just can't be bothered to be thoughtful and think about what other people might need. It takes effort and it takes sacrifice to be thoughtful and considerate and kind. It's not something that we do for just a day or a week or a month. It's a fruit of the Holy Spirit. It's something that develops in our heart and in our character as we allow God to have his way in our lives and as we develop our relationship with him and as we follow the leading of the Holy Spirit, it's a fruit that occurs. I am personally surrounded by some really thoughtful and kind people. They notice what's going on around them. What a blessing for me that I can watch and learn and be more thoughtful myself because of what I see, because of being inspired, being inspired by others. Do you know God showed us the ultimate kindness when he sent Jesus to die for us? He was thinking about us and he put that into action. In Titus 3, 4 to 7, it says, When God, our Saviour, revealed his kindness and love, he saved us, not because of the righteous thing we had done, but because of his mercy. So this week, as you reflect on God's kindness and grace and mercy towards you, let it inspire you to show kindness and thoughtfulness to others. I've come up with a little bit of an acronym here. So I hope that this is helpful for you to remember because I like word pictures, they help me to remember things. So K is about keep being thoughtful and considerate and kind. 
I is inspire others. N is not everything is about you. And D is deliberate. So be deliberate in your thoughtfulness and your kindness. Let's pray. Father God, thank you that you showed us the ultimate act of kindness by sending Jesus to die for us. Thank you that you value kindness and you value grace and mercy and consideration. Please help us to have outward thinking, to think about others, to care about their needs. And help us every day to be thoughtful. Show us situations where we can be thoughtful and where we can be kind. We thank you for uh, this week and we ask for your blessing. In Jesus' name, Amen. And please remember that there's nothing you can do to make God love you any more or any less than he already does. He just loves you full stop.